Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Noma Kokunure. I am a PhD student at the University of KwaZulu-Natal, Department of Chemistry, and my presentation is on homology modeling of a kinase that is crucial to the development of the malaria parasite Plasmodium falciparum. Malaria remains a disease of concern globally, especially in Africa. There is a widespread strain of unstable malaria and it remains uncontrolled despite various efforts to curb it. This is due to the fact that there is constant emergence of drug resistant strains. The enzyme in question has been biologically validated to be a key drug target for the prevention, treatment and elimination of malaria due to its importance in all developmental stages of the malaria parasite, both in the host, that is the human, and the vector, the Anopheles mosquito. Computer-aided drug design is a modern computational technique that is gaining ground rapidly and is used in the drug discovery process to identify and develop novel inhibitors for various enzymes. Inasmuch as this enzyme is biologically validated, it remains one of the less explored drug targets, and there is no crystal structure for the enzyme. Protein crystal structures are important as they offer deeper insights to the mechanisms of biological activities, and as a result, they facilitate drug development. In this study, we have exploited computational techniques to come up with a homology model that is a protein structure of this kinase in an attempt to find novel inhibitors. Homology modeling is a computational method that is used to create structural models in the absence of a crystal structure. The first step is sequence alignment. This is a process of comparing and detecting similar regions between biological sequences, and it is the most crucial step as dissimilarity means that the active site of the kinase may be compromised. It involves the selection of a query sequence, that is the sequence of the kinase that is being modeled, and then a blast search is done to search for the most identical and most similar sequence. And this sequence is named the template sequence. In our study, we found that the human template 4D0L had the best percentage similarity and identity, and it was therefore selected for the backbone generation, loop, and sidechain modeling of our homology model. The software that we used to generate the homology model was Schrodinger Suites. The next stage involved optimization of the homology model by exposing it to molecular dynamics simulation. Molecular dynamics simulation, commonly known as MD, is a computer simulation method that dates back to the 18th century and is used to analyze the physical movement of atoms and molecules, as displayed on the video. This tool is important for understanding the physical basis of the structure and function of biological molecules. Optimization of the model allows the protein to assume its lowest energy conformation state, which renders it stable. The Desmond tool in Schrodinger Suites was used to set up a simulation of 100 nanoseconds with the ensemble class NPT at a temperature of 300 Kelvin and a pressure bar of 1.01325 bars. The OPL S3E force field was used and the system was run on the GPU resources, NVIDIA V100 in particular, that have been provided for by the CHPC. The simulation would not have been possible without these GPUs as MD with Desmond does not run on standard CPU processes. The protein was then assessed using a protein structure assessment tool called PROSA. This tool calculates an overall quality score for a specific input structure. A value below zero favors stability and this was observed by our PROSA results. Our model presented a low energy conformation thus proving the optimization by MD simulation successful. Stability of the protein was also monitored by observing the fluctuations within the protein structure throughout the MD simulation. The values of the acceptable range of protein stability differ from system to system. Literature has, however, suggested that a low root mean square deviation of approximately 2 to 3.5 Armstrongs indicates the accuracy of the model. The root mean square fluctuation depicts the ratio of fluctuations at residue level. Our model showed satisfying RMSD and RMSF values. Now that we have a successful homology model, thanks to the computational techniques that we have used, we can begin our journey of finding novel inhibitors by using a process called docking. Docking is a molecular technique 
that is used to predict how an enzyme interacts with ligands. Ligands can be molecules or atoms that form complexes with enzymes and they serve a biological purpose of eliciting a response. We will therefore continue the pursuit of novel inhibitors now that we have a homology model of the kinase in an attempt to overcome the malaria burden. Thank you.